everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Today I'm introducing another style from the uh, Ellen Villas Hair Society Part of Me Collection. This one is called Spa. It's in the color Pearl Blonde Rooted. A lot you want to know about this cute little pixie cut coming up. Spa is a luxurious, lightweight, all-around classic pixie style with some amazing, luxurious cap features. So in the front, you have about a 2.75 inch bang area. And I just kind of pushed it up. It didn't take any effort at all. I think it kind of wanted to do that. And then a three and a quarter inch crown. So that crown piece uh, does still deliver a nice, beautiful profile, a little bit of rounded effect there so you don't get that flat back effect. That tapers down into a 2.75 inch nape. Now to me, it feels shorter than 2.75 inches. Um, it feels more like maybe a 1.75 to two. It is a shorter nape but ample to cover my own hairline. And my own hairline right now is pretty long, actually. It's meant to fit right below the occipital bones in the back and kind of hug the neck all the way around. And I think it's remarkable that this style only weighs one and a half ounces. Now, I don't have a way to measure that exactly, but it feels supremely lightweight on my head. I don't even know it's on. It, it literally is that lightweight all the way around. So let's get up close on these cap features. So there's that lace front. It does run temple to temple, extends back into the ear tab. So it's nice and wide. All of the seams are obscured. Um, they do bring the highlight right up to the roots. So it is a nice realistic look from the front with nice fine knotting. All right, so on the top, you will see a hand tied top. Now this isn't monofilament in the traditional sense. Um, there's a mesh base with some cluster knots tied in and then you have um, a like a two ply mesh material covering that up for comfort. And we'll get into the cap uh, segment here in just a moment where we'll discuss this a little further. One of my first impressions of the style was that this is a style that is resistant to wind and weather conditions. Um, this is just going to be an absolute iron kind of a style where you can wear it every single day, get a lot of wear out of it, and it's going to be appropriate for any weather. You know, if the wind blows, you're really not lifting to see wefting back there. There are no open wefts. You know, from the top, if you get a little bit wet, you're not seeing permatees or wefting back there either. It's just a really luxurious style that is meant to go the distance every single day. So let's briefly talk about this color Pearl Blonde Rooted. Um, Pearl Blonde Rooted is a combination of some medium ash blonde, some medium honey blonde, lots of pearl platinum on a medium root. These layers are really short, but it just feels like they were razored off when it was cut. It feels like they razored them everywhere because you can see that they're very rough on the ends, okay? It's a very textured, it's a textured look and that's what they're going for. And if you walked into a salon and had a cut like this and wanted some texture, that's probably the technique um, that they would use, at least in places. But I think that adds a little bit of um, grayness just because of the way it's cut, okay? So um, I think that if you wanted to go with more, if you're blonde, you wanna go more with a champagne rooted if you want any kind of warmth. Now, because of the texture of the fiber, you're not getting much movement or body, okay? But you wanna know that right over the ear tab here, it kind of curls in. You see these curly pieces right here? So when you brush them forward, um, you can kind of see through. So with the heat of my hand, I think I'll just you know, press it down and make sure that it stays down for my styling because I don't want this curl to give any appearance of the edge of that cap right there. And just remember, although some pieces in that collection are heat friendly, this is a regular synthetic fiber. Talking permatease, there are, there's no palpable permatease at all anywhere on this cap. 
Um, any volume that you see is just being done by the fiber, the coarseness of the fiber, the density of the fiber. an inside look at the cap for Ellen Villas Spa. A completely hand-tied cap, a little bit unique in its construction. You have a temple-to-temple -temple lace front that does extend back into the ear tab on either side. And then you have a fully hand-tied top. And basically that just consists of a mesh material with all of the knots involved there. And then there's a two-ply there's an outside mesh as well. This is all designed for luxury, comfort, and realism. And then you have a beautiful velvet ear tab with nice sturdy stays, an extended felted nape with the Velcro style adjusters. Then you've got the hand tied base, uh, which consists of some cluster knots there. Again, that two ply material and then some integrated wefting in the back. Still a very beautiful, nice, uh, realistic look. You've got all the appropriate darting uh, that kind of conforms to the head. So ultimately, uh, this cap runs average right out of the box. I cinched it in only slightly to accommodate a petite average circumference. So I think I mentioned this style is right out of the box. I just gave it a shake applied it. This is one of those styles that you don't have to have a designated parting. You can just kind of fluff it up and wear it without a part. But if you do like a part, you can certainly create one uh, just with your hands there and you'll get the nice illusion of scalp. Such a realistic, luxurious style. Let's try with glasses. Of course, they're going to look beautiful and feel wonderful. If you're a full-time glasses wearer, there are no problems with this style. So I'm just going to manipulate this hair a little bit, give you some maybe some cute styling options. We'll see you again very soon at Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.